Hi everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. So in several of the previous videos, I've talked about the load equation or BTUs, but I've never really explained what those are. So let's take a few minutes to talk about BTUs and tons of refrigeration. So what is a BTU? BTU stands for British Thermal Unit, and it's the amount of energy needed to change, raise, or lower the temperature of one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit. You'll also see BTUH, which stands for BTU per hour, often referred to as just BTUs as well. It's the amount of heat in BTUs that flows from one thing to another over an hour. Think of it as the number of BTUs of cooling the HVAC system can produce after running for one hour. So what is a ton? Well, one pound of water changing temperature by one degree is a pretty small amount of energy when compared to how much you need to cool an office or even your home. So you often hear about tons of refrigeration, like a five-ton air conditioner. A ton is a measure of heat transfer capacity. Specifically, a ton of cooling is what would be required to melt 2,000 pounds, also known as a short ton, of ice over a 24-hour period. In the early days of refrigeration, ice was actually cut from lakes and used for cooling, so knowing how many tons you had was important, and the terminology has just stuck around with us. When one pound of ice melts, it absorbs 144 BTU. For 2,000 pounds of ice, that would absorb 2,000 times 144 is 288,000 BTU within 24 hours. So this is 288,000 BTU divided by 24 hours is 12,000 BTU hours, and that equals one ton of refrigeration. Since there are 12,000 BTUs in a ton, a three-ton air conditioner is a 36,000 BTU unit. And if you know the BTUs in tons, you can kind of estimate the airflow in CFM that you would need to offset this load. So a good general rule is that one ton is 400 CFM. Now this isn't true all the time, it depends on your application, but you can use this for some rough math. Another good rule of thumb is that you want to supply one CFM per square foot. Now again, this is based on your application, but let's say this is a typical office. So if you know you have a 10,000 square foot office space, you're going to know that you probably need around 10,000 CFM to supply it. And you also know that it's 400 CFM a ton, so 10,000 CFM divided by 400 is 25 tons. Or you can put this into BTU, 25 tons times 12,000 BTU is 300,000 BTU. So now if you know the size of the space, you can do some rough math about how much air you're going to need and how much cooling you're in need to handle that space. So that's BTUs and tons of refrigeration and how you can use it to calculate other important HVAC information. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.